Hey guys, iOS 18 developer beta 6 is out and I already did a video in which I talk about that should you update to this version or not and that video is available on the channel, you can check out this video. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the changes that are available with the iOS 18 in developer beta 6. And also I will share the GeekQuest score so you can have the idea about the performance. Also GeekQuest score is not something that you can take charge off it can be different it can be different for you it can be different for any other but it is gives it basically gives the idea about what we can expect in terms of performance from the iphone well let's begin and let's talk about what is new with the ios 18 developer beta 6 so beginning with the very first thing there are few changes available in the photos application as you can see all new design find your photos and videos faster with automatic organization and familiar grid layout new collections browse your library by recent days add your favorite groups of people trips and more fully customizable organize the photo app by reordering collections and painting items for easy access in the previous beta 6 up beta 5 update we have seen that the carousel was removed from the photos application and here are a few more changes in the photos application with the beta 6 as you can see the album size over here of the folders is now different it used to be a bigger one but now it is smaller one also over here you can see different changes as you can see now more options are available over here more options are available over here these are some of the changes available with this photos application and from here you can customize it reorder it rearrange it for your better experience these changes are available with the ios 18 developer beta 6 also dark app icons for more applications are available outlook was used to be in a lighter version where the icon was white in the developer beta 5 but with the developer beta 6 now the darker version of outlook is also available definitely darker version of many other apps will be available with this one but i haven't installed those applications so i have no clear idea about that but these are some of the changes also if i go over here and into the app library as you can see app library was used to be blurred the background was used to be blurred just like this one as you can see the background is completely blurred over here but now the background is no not blurred at all i'm not sure it's a bug or I, am, I have no idea but still it is no blur and i think it looks quite better i think it's better also blur version was also good but this is also better as you can see also if i go over here and see if there are release notes now available or not let me refresh this for now again while showing this video release notes are not available for the ios 18 developer beta 6 if i go to the geek best score over here to show you the idea go to cpu cpu history over here i just tested it out 23003 on a single core and 5574 on a multi-core now i just updated to this and right after updating that it i checked these uh, scores definitely it take couple of days for the ios to get stable so i'm hoping to get a better score after a couple of days so definitely i will make uh, follow on video for this so you can have a better idea also if i go to the control center over here some of the icons are now in a better ui as i show you alarm timer and store the ui of these icons are now changed from the beta 5 they were like uneven to each other but now they are matching to each other and they are giving a better experience better look which is also really good also i opened the home application and i saw this flat screen so there are some updates to the control center of home where we can rearrange or resize accessory controls which is also really good so i'm still digging into the ios 18 developer beta 6 so i can get to know about the changes i have noticed one thing if i go over here go to edit add widget over here and go to the widget of journal application over here i have i haven't noticed this new entry before but here are some of the options available i'm not sure this was available before or not but i noticed this today maybe it is new i'm i have no idea about that you guys let me know in the comment section below but these are some of the changes available with the ios in developer beta 6 i'm sure there are more changes and i am still checking out everything and saying i will definitely come up with another video also 
if, if you are following me on my videos you guys know that we have saw a calculator bug and let's see if that bug is available again or not so 475 into 100 i think plus now that bug is fixed over here which is really really good so there was a bug if you haven't checked out my older video you can but the bug is fixed available by doing this it gives a very uneven figure it was doing it i don't know why but now that bug is fixed in the calculator too which is really good so these are some of the changes and i will see you in the next video did that take care peace out